Good evening, people. I'm just relaxing. Had a long day. My back is killing me. It's breezy out too. Nice little breeze. Man, I'm exhausted. Yeah. Almost done. And then I can relax completely. My mom has me, she has me like doing 50 million things at one time. Yeah. But it looks nice so far, so good. Yeah. They flipped over. Hold up. Wait one second. Oh. Move. Move my behind. That bus mask, you already know. Hold on. Yeah, I will bust my ass. That is nothing new. I will bust my ass. I'm trying to flip them over. <laughs> Look at this. Unbelievable. My ass. Alright, so give me one sec. Let me get out of here. Mother has too many things. Yeah, so I'll show you. You got Dracula over there. You got his wife. You got the mummy. Yeah. But, yeah, so far. And I got the witch, too. But, yeah, but that shit is hilarious. Hold up. That shit kind of crazy. That's that weird shit right now. Oh, hell no. Don't want to be in that position. There goes my little pet spider. I got my little tiggers going on. Say hi, tigger. Yeah. Count Dracula tigger with the little fangs going. And you got the witch going. That's an ugly bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I have other stuff, but <laughs> one step at a time, one day at a time. Halloween's not here yet, so I got plenty of time. Oh my God, let me sit down. Yeah, but I look better, better than yesterday. No, but I'm just glad. Little by little, it's getting done. Oh, and then got my pet spider. I forgot. Hold up, hold up. And got my pet spider. Cause that sucker is huge. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Let me sit that man down. I haven't sat down. I haven't done anything of relaxation whatsoever. Because I've been hitting it hard. Cleaning. Organizing. Doing everything in alphabetical order. Labeling everything. You know. Throwing away the stuff that got ruined. Yeah. I got to get up early. Yep. I wonder how everyone's day was today, besides my day. <laughs> In the morning, I had the cat, all that shit. But like I said, I'm gonna be selling a lot of my jewelry, a lot of my stuff, you know what I mean? So if anybody's looking for anything, just hit me up, let me know, cause uh, I, need, I need some cash, you know? And this life is not easy, you know what I mean? You gotta do things, you gotta struggle. You know, people see it as they think my life is so easy. Oh, Jen, oh she's spoiled or they give her whatever no 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 let's get this straight everything i got is because of me everything because of sudor you know sweat and like i said nobody gives me nothing there's no man out there that gives me nothing and there's no man that ever gave me anything you know what i mean i mostly gave everything to the men you know what i mean when they needed gas money they call me up jen do you have uh, gas money jen i'm hungry jen this you know what i mean Nobody ever gave me nothing. I always gave, gave, gave. You know what I mean? So, like I said, 
Nobody gives me nothing. Nobody does nothing for me. So, everything. No, there's a birdie. Cute little bird. But, like I said, everything my son got, everything I got, is because of me, me, me. And my family, you know. My family in New York or my family, you know, different places. You know what I mean? Like a little gift here and there. But, it's the thing is, everything he got is because of, of me. That's it. Nobody gives my son nothing. So, and nobody gives me nothing either. So, I'll just make that shit pretty clear for everybody to understand that. Because you think I'm spoiled, you think I'm stuck up, you think I'm a gold digger. Everybody thinks different things of me, you know what I mean? I ain't like that. Everything I got is because of me. Shoes I got on my feet, purses, or clothing, everything because of etaki, me. I bust my ass. I have worked before. It's not like I never worked in my life. You know what I mean? I had like 36, 37, just say about 40 jobs because it's around that range because it was 36. So I say 40 because I did some other things too. You know what I mean? So it's not like I never worked in my life or I never did nothing in my life. So like I said, that's just how it is. I tell the truth however it is, like that straight up, 100%. Anybody comes away, like, you know, my path or whatever, I just tell them straight up. I say how it is. I have nothing to hide, never hide nothing from no one. Me, I'm living the single life because there ain't no man that will step, step up to the plate and have balls to confront me, ever. So, like I said, I need a real man, but there ain't no real man out here. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said... Me, I'm going on single for nine years. My anniversary's coming up. Now I gotta buy myself something nice, you know. But, no. Ain't nobody to step up the plate. It's like, men out here, or men in general, just, you know, they can't, they can't deal with me. They can't understand me. They see it as, like, oh, she's, she's, no, I can't, I can't deal with that one. Like I said, I'm too much of a woman for any nigga out here. That's the problem. They don't know how to deal with me. They can't step up to the plate. You know what I mean? And, you know, to each his own. Like I said, to each his own. I don't need to prove nothing. No one. I prove everything to myself. And the fact is, I am who I am. That's it. I'm, I'm me. I ain't going to change that for nothing. I'm sweet. I'm honest. I'm caring. I'm lovable. I'm everything. I could be your best friend or I could be the best girlfriend in the world. But like they say, don't fuck with me, don't lie to me, don't cheat on me, don't play me dirty. If I catch you in a lie, you know, all that shit, mm -mm, I'm done. As a friend, as a girlfriend, that's just straight up how it is. I've been through too much bullshit in my life to have any more bullshit, you know what I mean? I just want to live, you know, tranquila, a happy life, you know, and, you know, enjoy someone. But like I said, it ain't happening, so. Single life is nice. You don't have to answer to nobody. You don't have to do nothing for no one. You come home as you please. Like I said, I don't party. I don't do none of that shit. You know what I mean? If I go out, I go out with my parents. If I go out with somebody, it's because I know them for years and they invite me and my parents know them. It's all straight up because my parents know them. But if my parents don't know them, I, just, I don't fucking go out with nobody. No, hell no. The only one that I trust with my life that I could say 100% is my friend. My brother, my homeboy in New York. That's the only person I could trust. That's my brother, no matter what. Family right there. I would never see him no differently. That's just, we have that relationship and that bond that would never break ever. Because if a person can carry you bleeding to death, and put you in his car, well, not his car, his sister's car, we had, he cleaned up the mess and everything, and took you to the hospital, that's family, that's loyalty, that's right there, everything, I mean, you don't find friends like that, you don't find family like that, you don't find that, it's very rare, and that's why I said, that's the only friend I got, if I'm hungry, and he's a gen, you don't have food in your house, as I say, you know what I mean, you know, things happen in life, he'll, he got my back, if I can't, if the light's going to get cut or the water or whatever, he got my back. You know what I mean? That's a true friend. That is unconditional right there. That's very rare to find. 
You know what I mean? Nobody nowadays. Everybody wants something in return. I'm not like that. I'm just like him. Like, if somebody needs my help, you know what I mean? Like, I help people in different ways. And some people understand what I'm talking about, what, you know, what type of help I help them. You know, I help people not go to jail. I help people guide them in their life. I help people make the right decisions, you know what I mean? I help them as much as I could, you know what I mean? And I don't want nothing in return because I'm not like that. Everybody thinks I'm freaking after them because they have money and I'm a gold digger and then people, the families judging me, sin saber de mi, they don't know me, you know what I mean? I don't like that, I don't do that, you know what I mean? I don't judge people, I just say hi to everybody, I'm polite to everyone, I respect everyone. And but a person's gonna disrespect me, put me down and shit like that. No, 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 that don't go like that with me. I had that too many times from different people. You know what I mean? Parents always judging me and shit like that, see, without even knowing me. So like I said, I don't, I don't play that role. I don't play that anymore. Like I said, I'm done with that. I'm just want to be free, happy, relaxation, and everything. You know what I mean? That's it. But whoever wants a best friend for life, you got me right here. If somebody needs advice, you got me right here. No matter what. It's getting dark. I guess I'm late. <laughs> but yeah. There was like a little bomb scare type thing that was happening in New York. I called my homeboy right away. He didn't answer me, so I what's up him I text him and everything just to make sure he's okay because that's what friends do that's what family does so that's the thing I wish he could have came down for my birthday I'm gonna be by myself for my birthday you know what I mean I'm not gonna do nothing because ain't nothing to do and nobody to chill with so I just stay home and that's it and there's no more light <laughs> yeah but yeah, that's about it. I'll be 36 years of age. Mm. Never mind. Age is just a number. Oh, I just can't wait. I really can't wait. After everything's done and everything, then I'm just gonna go. Relax in a destination far, far away. I need to get away. Ain't nothing keeping me here. The only reason I haven't left was because I was fixing my stuff at the pawn shop, but I lost everything. Lost everything. But I recovered some stuff, but either way. All my other stuff, how can I put it? Someone did me a favor and took out my stuff, but I gotta pay them back. And now they're charging me interest. So instead of 15, now it's costing me 3K. Yeah, pretty much. See, that's what I'm saying. A person's getting back at me because, how could I put it in little words? I ended it with them and it didn't go as well. Yeah, so they're getting back at me to charge me. Yeah, to get my own shit back. So they're holding my stuff. I don't mind. They did me a favor. Fine, that was great. You know what I mean? I was paying. I was gonna pay back, but now because I'm not with them or I'm not in nothing with them, so getting back at me because I left them. I'm like, who does that? You know what I mean? You don't do that. I, I just, I just don't understand. Instead of it being 15, I got to pay almost three. I can't, I just can't believe it. I guess every guy that comes into my path is like, they want to get back at me or in any kind of way. Jealous of me, the whole nine yards, Jesus Christ. I just can't believe it. You know what I mean? I left you for the reason was because you couldn't give me a straight answer and then I went with someone else. You know what I mean? I met someone else back in April 14th and didn't show with them to June and July. And you dare gonna get back at me after I have done so good for you? 
I mean, I, I just I just don't understand men. I really, truly don't understand. How could you do something to that to me, and then throw in my face so so many things? It's just like when I was at the um at the pawn shop, you were like, I mean, literally, what did he come out with? He's like, oh, you didn't get you didn't give me gas money. Oh, I didn't charge you gas money. But first of all, I bought you. I took you out to eat. I, t- I bought you a sixteen dollar freaking drink. I mean, so many freaking things, and I'm on my thing. And the fact was, it's just unbelievable. Sixteen dollar drink. Prior to that, I take throughout the three years, I took him out to eat. I bought him stuff. I bought him uh, um, his favorite brand that he likes, Ralph Lauren. Prior to that, I bought him Mercedes um, items or whatever because he has a Mercedes Benz. And I, I just can't believe a person can just treat another person that way and try to get back at them because you leave them. Well, I left them because of the fact was because you couldn't give me a straight answer. I just don't know. Like I said, that's why I'm by myself and happy. I don't like things like that. People taking stuff out and throwing it in your face. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not, I don't know. It's just not a good taste in somebody's mouth. And then after I've done so much for a person, para sacármelo en cara. Ah, yo, that's just so low. Either or. Like I said, I'm done with that. I've been too nice. I've been too good. I'm always good and nice to men. And they want to step on me. You know what I mean? You be honest, you get screwed. You be nice, you get screwed. But, nah, I'm done with that. Like I said... I don't care who's in love with me. I don't care. They could get the step in. They could get the step in. I mean, I have I have people freaking blowing up my phone. I, I cut everybody out of my life, but people still stop by my house. Yo, Jen, you know I've been in love with you and everything. Nah, 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 nah. Sorry, I don't go down. I don't go like that. Freaking married men want to leave their wife with me? Yeah. I, if I was another type of female, I would have jumped on that like a heartbeat. But I'm not like that. You know, so I see my parents didn't raise me like that. You say de mi casa. I'm, I'm, I'm from my house. I'm not like that. Other females nowadays would jump on that, you know what I mean? Because son interesada, you know, they're interested in what they could get from a man. Not me. I'm not like that. I would never be like that. All I looked for was two things. Somebody being honest, loyal. Honesty and loyalty. That's it. I haven't found nobody that has the balls to step up the plate to me. Once they put a ring on this finger and once they tell me they feel something for me or they love me or care about me and want me in their life and be sincere and love me and my son, that's a different story. But like I said, I don't want nobody around my son. I would never put nobody around my son, no kind of guy ever in my life. I did that one time. And I'll never do that again because my son is still hurting to this day. And I, I feel so bad. I mean, my heart breaks every time he mentions something. You know what I mean? He mentions a person's name. He mentions their kids. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want that for my son. I'm sorry. I, I can't have my, my, my son's heart broken like that. Just not... <coughs> nah, I would never do that again. Porque me duele en el corazón por, por mi hijo, de verdad. He was real sad and crying and everything. And he, he gets like that every day. And it, it breaks my heart. Breaks my freaking heart. So badly breaks my heart. I try to do the best I can for my son. As best as I can. My parents too. And everything, you know what I mean? He don't have friends, he don't have brothers and sisters. 
he don't have family here because all the families in New York, you know what I mean? So it's it's hard. It's it's really really freaking hard to have nobody. I grew up alone, you know what I mean? And I I felt bad as myself. You know what I mean? I didn't really have cousins and and my brothers and sisters around me. I didn't have that because I really saw my cousins, you know, once in a blue moon. But I never really interact with them and hanged out with them, you know what I mean? So it's like I grew up alone. I was always this um, how do you say, building school, building school, building school, because we lived in a condominium, you know what I mean? So that's all I saw. I didn't know what freedom was until I got here to Florida. I was 20, I think my freedom, freedom was a little bit at actual, actual freedom. Okay, 15, 16, no, I was going to get married, 18. So I didn't, I was just in my house, 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 because plus I was getting married, so house, house, house. I was just in the house. I didn't go nowhere in my fiance didn't take me nowhere it was very rare so I didn't see freedom and what freedom was and know what the outside was like hang out and everything until I was like 20 mm, 22 23 because 21 I lost the baby 22 23 give or take 22 23 I that's when I started learning about <laughs> to say the real world the you know life you know going to here going there you know hanging out here you know, seeing things, you know, going to concerts, going to dance things, you know. I mean, I didn't experience things like everybody else, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's really hard. And I don't, my son, I'm raising him a certain type of way. Like I said, everybody's asking me why he's not on social media, why there's no photos. Look, I have domestic violence. I have a restraining order for the rest of my life. When my son's able to defend himself, when he's older, he's a, he's a kid now, you know what I mean? I have to defend him. My parents have to defend him, you know what I mean? So the fact is, when he gets older and he's 15, 18, 21, whatever, that type of age, he could be on social media all he wants. But everybody's blowing up my phone asking why he's not on social media, why there's no pictures, you know, and everything. Because I have domestic. I have a permanent restraining order. That's it. My own family don't even know what my son looks like. Only if they come down and visit. But nobody knows what my son like looks like. And and I want to keep it like that. I want to keep it like that until he's older. And, you know, that's it. It's just what it is. All right, it's getting dark. But let me go this way. That's just, I don't know. Like I said, everybody wants to put their kids on and pictures and everything. I just don't do that. When he's older, by all means. But not now. He's too young. Too young. That's the reasons why. So everybody's inboxing me and asking me and everything. I'm like, okay, yeah. You want to see my son? Everybody knows where I live. They come by. They see my son. No photos. They just see him in person. That's it. When he gets older, by all means. But not now. He's only going to be nine. So. That's it. I don't put nothing. Only pictures and videos and everything is just me, 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 me. And that's how it's going to be. Just on my uh, Instagram and everything. And Facebook too. And my WhatsApp. And what's the other one? Snapchat. And I don't know. What else? I have every single damn freaking app that you can imagine. Every type of social media type thing. I have it for years. Barely even use it. Oh, and I even have my MySpace still. Go figure. But, like I said. That's just how I feel. That's just how it is. And... That's all I really have to say tonight. I'm just tired and exhausted, you know what I mean? I have to get up early, do a couple more things. Right now I wanna go maybe listen to some music or something. And that's about it. And look, look how thin, 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 thin. I mean, I lost a lot of weight. I'm down to like the zero three range. After losing the baby, I just, Drop down, drop, yeah, drop down, and lost all that weight after losing the baby. So, little by little, I'm trying to get the fatness of my cheeks. You can see, mm, look, they're not even, they're not even fat anymore. So, right now, this top right here, this is the size extra freaking small. That's how 
tiny I am right now. I just want to go back to my like size 5 or size 7, 8 type range. So, all I look like is a una gringa right now, americana, flaquita. That's all I look like, a white girl, real skinny, super skinny. I'm getting a little color on my face, but I was really pale. Yeah, but that's just the breaks. That's just how life is. I just have a couple more months to go. I got four more months. And then I do my artificial insemination. I'm excited, nervous, excited, happy. <laughs> yep. Yep. I just can't wait. I just can't wait until my dad starts to physically, you know, be able to drive and everything like that. So, all right. So, either way. So. I'm looking at my dog right now. <laughs> She's at the door. She's like, get off the get off the social media. Get off that Instagram. Take me out. <laughs> I love my dog. She's funny. Alright. Kisses my angels. Love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful, positive night. Sleep well. Everyone.